I think that it could be for the national championship, and that's what the Orange Bowl has always strived for, and we hope that we can that it takes place. Frank, tell us a little bit about your team. Uh, it, it looks like you have an outstanding running back in Cowan and, uh, and a good passing game. We have a good balance. Lou Holtz is, insists on being able to move the ball in the air or on the ground, whichever the defense dictates that we should be able to do. We've got a young quarterback who's going to be all league. Uh, he's had an outstanding year. Uh, Ron Calcagney, Ben Cowens was leading rush in the conference last year as a sophomore. He's over, what, 1,200, mm -hmm. 1200 yards this year. So we've got some good balance. We've got excellent pass receiving. Our defense um, has only allowed just over a touchdown a game. We've been in the top five against scoring. So, And we've got a great field goal kicker who has the NCAA record of 67 yards, and I think he's kicked 10 over 50 yards this year. As Switzer played for me and coached for me at Arkansas, and he's done a mag well, he's just been incredible. The record, uh, he told me last week that they're playing better than his national championship teams of 74 and 75. They have the more speed probably than any team in the history of college football. They've gained the momentum. Their quarterback is just unthinkable. If you have to try to stop him both running inside and outside, it's impossible. So they are right now playing the best football of any team in America. Do you think they should be number one? No, sir. They didn't defeat Texas. It looks, with two very potent offensive teams, it might be a very high-scoring game. I think that it could be a high-score game. A lot of people have scored against Oklahoma. We haven't had much scoring against us, but we haven't met a team with the possibilities and the strength of Oklahoma. So it could be an outstanding offensive game. Any uh, predictions? No, uh, let's wait a little bit and study a little more film.